I call uh, Mika Whaiteri. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Uh, inga mimbo te whadinei, a tēnā tātou i katoa. Uh, Mr Speaker, I rise um, uh, proudly as Labour's spokesperson for local government. I also uh, rise proudly as a member of this House, the New Zealand House of Representatives, sir. We all, 121 of us, do need to this place on a well-established, well-maintained and a well-protected democratic system, sir. So, if it's good enough for us as members of this House to be elected to come here, then why isn't it good enough for the good people of Canterbury to have their say? That's the question, sir, that I pose to this House. If it's good enough for us, why isn't it good enough for Canterbury people? Sir, I join in solidarity with my hard-working colleagues who are based in the Canterbury region. Uh, Dr Woods, uh, Honourable Ruth Dyson, Porto Williams, uh, my own colleague Red, uh, Reno Tedekartney, and of course Clayton Crosgo. Sir, we uh, are very clear in our caucus that when we discuss matters of importance to Canterbury, these fine, hard-working MPs will go down in history and standing up for the democratic rights of people from Canterbury. And it's sad to say that the members on the other side will go down in history as removing that democratic right to have their say. And that, sir, I think is a travesty with this bill. It doesn't give the people of Canterbury a say. It's not defendable, listening to those, the contributors on that side of the House, of why this is an important step. Canterbury, as we all know, has been around a long, long time and has produced some very, very um, amazing New Zealanders. And I've got no qualms Sue, to say that the leadership down there is more than capable of taking care of their issues. And that's what goes to the heart of this bill. This bill aims to provide governance arrangements here for the Canterbury Regional Council to operate during the 2016 to 2019 local authority election cycle period. It replaces the governance arrangements that have been in place since 2010 under the Environment Canterbury Temporary Commissioners and Improved Waste Management, a Water Management Act 2010. It is intended to provide for a majority of members of the Council to be elected by the people of the Canterbury region, and it is also to provide for the continuation of some of the modified resource management processes that have operated under the Environment Canterbury Temporary Commissioners and Improved Water Management Act 2010 to remain available to the Council in order to further progress issues relating to the management of fresh water within the Canterbury region. Sir, this bill is about irrigation, and this side of the House have caught it for what it is. The bill is about water and its management in Canterbury. There are differing points of interest around managing Canterbury's water. These include those within the urban community who have intense interest in the quality of their waterways for clean drinking water and recreation along with a strong sense of identity with Canterbury's braided rivers. Councils all over the country manage to resolve issues around contested resources. It is not the case that this cannot be done in Canterbury. The region is not that unique. In 2010, sir, the new council set itself a target of ensuring 80% of our rivers in the region were safe to swim. 80%. At that time, 74%. Uh, of rivers fell into this category. And we've heard that as of today, that number has declined to 67%, sir. My closing statement, sir, is what Labour will do when we're in government. Labour will re restore local democracy and the right of communities to have their say on decisions affecting them. We believe in particip participatory democracy on appropriate major and strategic decisions and appropriate consultation on detailed and technical issues. We recognise that one size fits all is not appropriate for local government organisation, and we will restore local democracy to all communities. Sir, I stand in solidarity with my colleagues. We will be opposing this bill because it removes the rights of all Canterbury people to have their say in their democracy. Kia ora tato.